fusing together the tape splicing methods of electronic composer Karl Heinz Stockhausen, the buzzing churn of the Velvet Underground, the minimalism of composer mavericks like Terry Riley, as well as the relentless R&B rhythms of James Brown and the Meters, Cologne Germany's can concocted an unlikely blend of the avant-garde and the primal. Their 1972 album, Ege Bamyasa, struck a balance between sublimity and chaos that pushed the boundaries of what rock music and a rock band could be. Yes, I feel a thing. I'm so green. I'm so green. Can was formed in 1968 by two students of Stockhausen, bassist Holger Schukai and keyboardist Ermin Schmidt. They recruited a free jazz drummer, Jackie Liebitzeit, who, after a strange encounter with a fan, began to play more monotonous beats. They also recruited guitarist Michael Caroli and a sculptor from America, Malcolm Mooney, to provide vocals. But Mooney, on the advice of his psychiatrist, soon departed the group. Enter Demo Suzuki, a young Japanese hippie musician discovered busking outside a Munich cafe. Though not radio-friendly fair, in 1971, the group produced a top 10 hit in Germany. Spoon, a three-minute ditty utilizing the still novel drum machine in addition to Liebitzeit's own machine-precise drumming, became the theme for a television thriller miniseries. Its success gave them cachet. They staged a free concert that drew 10,000 people, and they upgraded their recording studio from a 14th century castle to an old cinema outside of Cologne. But success also increased pressure from their record label, who wanted to capitalize on Spoon's success and press the band to quickly record a follow-up. Recording sessions for Ege Bamyasa were fraught. Suzuki and Schmidt became embroiled in intense chess matches that derailed entire sessions. And after the recording of the album's frenzied collage of a centerpiece, Soup, guitarist Michael Caroli suffered a near-fatal perforated ulcer. But the sessions also revealed more contemplative sides to the group. There's the jaunty I'm So Green, as well as the eerie down-tempo Sing Swan Song. Even if you can't quite make out the eel-like lines of Suzuki, Kanye himself twisted that syntax into drunken hot girls. Its melancholia is evident. The band still didn't have quite enough material for a full album, so they tacked on Spoon and a song they had recorded for yet another private eye drama. Vitamin C boasts a breakbeat that has since been sampled by Corrupt, Spank Rock, and Uncle, and has also appeared in movies like Inherent Vice and TV shows like The Get Down. In a nod to Andy Warhol, the album cover featured a can of okra, a comment both on the band's name and their idea of being a pop product. Ege Bamyasa also means a G in okra in Turkish. Swinging from pop to experimental noise and futuristic funk, Ege Bamyasa showcased Can's polygonal sides and how the band foresaw the music that would emerge beyond rock. Be it hip-hop, techno, drum and bass, or post-punk, it was the music of the future. 